Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. We have some crazy hair today. So as you guys know, we're in the middle of moving and we have tons of moving content coming and there's so many projects that we wanna do and decorating and everything that we're gonna show you guys every step of the way. But in the midst of moving and having all that sort of fun, I also wanted to share some fashion with you guys, of course, because that's a huge part of what I like to share in my content with you. So I got in a package and it's like in the midst of unpacking all of our belongings right now. So it's crazy for me to have even opened the package because I didn't put away my normal clothes yet. So I'm just gonna add these clothes to those and my to-do list. But I just got in a package from Nasty Gal and it's a bunch of cute stuff. So I wanted to share it with you guys. They always have such good pieces and really good prices. And I know you guys love them, so do I. So I'm just gonna share with you what I got and kind of like how I envision styling it and it's um, hot today so I'm drinking this makes no sense I'm drinking ice water out of this is this called a thermos like you know to go coffee cup that says anti bitch serum because I think that's what people call their coffee I don't know because I don't drink coffee and I don't know where my water bottle is so this is what I'm moving I'll say I am gonna show you guys the pieces okay the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this little cropped blazer it's like a really boxy cropped blazer i've seen these everywhere and i think they're so cool so stylish i got a size small medium and it looks like it is a reworked vintage piece it has this original santoria tag so that's really cool and i just love the cut of these i think it's the perfect little edgy jacket to throw over like a casual look so i need to steam mine because it literally like just opened the package but as you can see it's kind of like a men's fit as far as it goes in like the shoulders and the sleeves the shoulders are really boxy and big and then the sleeves are long which i absolutely love when something has long sleeves i think it's really flattering especially on like a short girl like me i'll drop the camera a little bit lower so you guys can see like more okay yeah so i just think this is so cute even with just like a white tank and some straight leg dad jeans like i have here i think is perfect you could throw on some strappy heels or some air force ones just like a casual sneaker little claw clip i think this is really easy to dress up as well like if you wanted to wear it over a little slip dress or with slacks or something um but i love that it's a little bit edgy and more daring with the crop it's not like super super cropped again maybe that's because i'm on the shorter side i'm five four for anyone who's wondering but i think it's a really good length and it's really comfy and cute and i'm just so into this trend obviously i will link everything for you guys below too okay the next thing i'm going to show you guys is a faux leather jacket if you don't already know, I'm pretty obsessed with faux leather jackets. I have so many. I'm always adding to my collection because this is something in it that I wear in every season with every style. It's just a must for me. And I think, what size did I get in this one? I can't tell what size I got. This tag says three, but I feel like I've never seen their sizing done like that. So look on my order. Let you guys know exactly what size, but I got it as like a pretty tailored cut. A lot of these that I have, I get like oversized, like boyfriend style. And for those, I just size up, but it's nice to have a more tailored fitted one as well. So again, this is super easy to dress up or down, like with a skirt or a dress, if you want to dress it up and some heels or with just like jeans like this or a sundress or something and sneakers. I think is perfect for casual and something that I really look for in faux leather jackets is I love when they have a little bit more detailing on them so just like extra zippers and buttons and I love when they have a buckle I just feel like it really adds to it and makes it look more badass 
<laughs> so I really really like this one seems like really nice quality for a faux leather jacket and a really good price so I would highly recommend sometimes these like smell really weird and they have like a really like squeaky texture too this one does not feel like that it's like softer it doesn't really smell and it's a yes for me like I will wear this so much Okay, this top, I either can't figure out how to tie it correctly or I ordered it a little too small. Sometimes I'm really bad at like picking the right size for things and I got an extra small in this, but I didn't realize it was so like chesty, sort of like open in the chest area. So I think, I think I probably would have gotten a bigger size just so I had more room to make it like a little bit more flowy and not as tight, but it's really cute. And I love like zebra print. I think it's so fun. I actually want to put zebra print like all over our house, which is not practical and I'm not going to do it because I know it doesn't work, but I just love zebra print for some reason. I think it's just like a really, I mean, I think all animal prints are actually like really good neutrals. Like they are loud, but they match everything. So kind of like a neutral in a weird way. I think it's just like a fun little summer top. Maybe with like linen, white pants or something that are kind of flowy. Especially if I was going on vacation, I could totally picture wearing this to like a little dinner or something. Um, I just really can't tell if I'm wearing it wrong. I don't think I am wearing it wrong. I think it's just like a little small for me. So I'm normally like a small. I don't know why I ordered an extra small. So I'm assuming it still fits kind of true to size, but maybe just size up one. Um, but a really fun summary print. Here's kind of like a detail shot for you guys. Like I said, if I was like flatter or bigger size, I think this would be perfect. But the actual pattern and design is so nice. Sometimes um, with animal prints, I don't like the fabric. Like I don't like the exact pattern they picked. But this one, I really love the exact design. I think it's so good. Next is this little lounge set. Maybe I should show you guys this one in the mirror since it's... Uh, pants and everything. It's basically just a little matching ribbed set. It's a nice nude color. The top is like a boxy sort of oversized just t-shirt style and then the pants are like a high-rise bell-bottom style. I'll show you guys those in the mirror but it's just like a nice casual sort of looser lounge outfit and I thought it would be really cute with the leather jacket actually. Just throw this on if you've been wearing this all day or something and then you're gonna like go to dinner with your friends or something when you're allowed to that could be cute okay so this is the outfit as you can see it's just that little ribbed material and as i mentioned sort of like a bell bottom little flare and it's like really comfy casual cool and i love matching sets because they're so easy to style. They're basically pre-styled. You can wear this with sneakers, booties, black heels maybe, anything like that. All right, this next item is this pair of pants and these are a tiny bit big for me, I would say. I think I could have gone one size down. So I got these in a six. I'm not sure if they carry them in a four, but I probably could have done that just so they were a little snugger on the waist. I would like them to sort of sit right there, but they still look cute like this, a little bit baggy and a little bit lower rise. So this is just a sort of loose fitting, slight flare. They're like a plaid print. And I think that these are really fun to dress for street style or also make them like business casual as a work pant. So I think that they're really fun. They're also so comfy. And again, I think I love the jacket go quite well with them because I'm telling you guys leather jacket is just a huge part of my wardrobe so like that with maybe some maybe some black strappy heels or some black booties okay and then the next item is this gingham sort of ruffled mini skirt which is so cute I used to have a skirt like this that I love and I'm so glad I found another one I need to deem this little wrinkle out right here but it's sort of this like crisscross crisscross ruffle pattern it's pretty snug to check what size I got in this felt like a little ruffle at the end too it's high-waisted and like I said it's quite tight but I like that I think it's really flattering and I think this is so cute for like a summer spring outfit it makes me want to go on a picnic or just go out in a meadow or something from the gingham print and wear like a little sweater like a little cardigan or something with this I think would be so cute 
Okay, so that's it for the mini Nasty Gal haul. Let me know if you guys like these little impromptu try-on hauls. It's kind of fun when I get a package in the mail just to like try it on and give you guys my initial thoughts and how I think I would style it and just a really casual try-on haul. Kind of fun to just show you guys the pieces in a more raw way like that. So if you guys like that and you'd want to see more, let me know and I can definitely keep doing more. I think for the rest of the day, I'll just focus on some more home things. So working on finding furniture, working on mood boards. I need to find like a ton of rugs that will work in the exact dimension. There's like so much to do when you're decorating a house and it's actually so fun. I adore this process and I just wish I could do it all the time. So. I'm savoring this right now while I can, and I'm excited to bring you guys along like every step of the way. So, I'm gonna sip on my anti bitch serum water. But we currently still don't have internet in our house, and they came to do the internet today, but didn't have like the right wire or something. So now the construction team has to come out tomorrow and make a spot for it, and then the people will come back and put the internet in. So it's a long journey. Yo, 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 what is going on? There's like seven million species of birds at the back of John, and we stayed up like way later than we ever have in our lives because of moving. So I was like a little like, whoa, whoa, like what's going on? Why is there so many birds? There were so many room? birds. It was um, intense. But it was beautiful. It was fun. It was intense. So. These are the pants. These are actually my pants. I wore them this morning. Now and it's our turn. Like I had to change a little bit. So. Yeah, so we got the house put together a little bit. It's coming together. But we're working on... We're just like testing out some things in different spaces because we just don't know what we want to do in like all the rooms with furniture and rugs and everything so we're using everything that we currently have that yeah. we brought from our old house and seeing trying to make it work like how it looks in certain spaces so this rug used to be in our living room at our old house we're going to see how it looks in this this is like our studio yeah room. this is in our living room i think it's gonna look nice in here oh that looks so nice already let's see oh my god i love like what a rug can do to a room. Okay. okay, so if we did a little vanity right there, I think even these two boxes could like next to the vanity, like, and they could have like some makeup on them or some decor yeah. or whatever. But like those are cute still and they could be cute like next to the little vanity without taking up like too much room. Yeah. But still making the room feel like it had a little bit of stuff in it. Yeah, I like that. Cause this thing right now is just huge. Yeah, I don't think it can stay. We're gonna have to sell it. It's so we're, we're kind of beautiful. thinking that our big buffet that we used to use as our media console, that it t might be time for it to go. It doesn't, it might not work in this. There's just really not like an ideal spot for it anywhere in the house. We thought about maybe using it as like our dresser, dresser. In our bedroom. In our bedroom, but the vibe in the bedroom, we're not, it's not the right fit. And it's yeah. also just like not the right storage. Yeah. So. It's like such a nice, yeah. and we love it but I don't know Might we're be gonna time be to here go. for a while so we need to like do you want to do this at an angle or you want to do it more I think normal or like this way yeah, yeah. Okay. this baby I'm alive. I think we should just use this this is the rug right here <laughs> come down Mmm, that looks so luxe. I mean, those sounds are perfect, you know. I think that looks pretty good, though. Yeah. I wonder if I should go the other way now. No. I guess I just go that way now, I think. Yeah. Thank you. That really makes this look nice. I think, a, I think this is a good rug for in here. I think so. So, cut this rug now. I like, this is a really nice rug, like over top, it looks so nice. Yeah, this is a nice rug, like, I like the colors, I like the pattern, it has a nice cushion, like, it feels good quality, it doesn't shed, like, yeah. I don't think we would need to buy a different rug for this room. No. Do you? I don't think so, I think it looks pretty good. I think the buffet is just too, it's too think, massive. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. Like, this is a small room, like, that's just too big of a thing. And then you know how this is like this? 
we can get a little chair that yeah. goes with the vanity that matches that kind of. Yeah, like that'd be really cute. Um, and then like the clothing rack is cute. We could put a little hanging plant right here. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Maybe like two hanging plants or three. Yeah. Like little different sizes and stuff. Yeah. Instead of light, um, I think we'll put the overhead lights. I think we do overhead the lights. lights. And then um, in that corner, maybe we put like a fiddle. Yeah. And then call it good. Yeah. For this room. Yeah, I like it. Think? I like it. Okay. Good work. Okay, we went to Home Depot this morning and got some. Remember, I showed you guys when I was unpacking the bathroom at our old house that we line the drawers yeah. so that they don't get all messed up. We do that in the kitchens too. Um, we normally use the like sticky mesh, yeah. non stick mesh. But it like sticks to the bottom of your pans, pans and then nice. it gets all messed up. So this time we're trying this natural cork. Self adhesive, so you like um, peel off the back and it's sticky, and you just place it down, kind of like wallpaper, and it would be like a protective yeah, drawer. It's, it's gonna really stick to the drawer. Yeah, and so. I feel like this material is like really durable. Yeah, and it's like, just like yeah, like, and it's like clean looking. Looks like wood. Yeah. yeah, these size drawers, it doesn't go all the way to the back. There's like a two inch gap in the back. Mm. Well, you can cut it. But like it'd be hard to get a really skinny gap, so I can do it this way. Mm -hmm. And do one. And then and cut the cut other this piece. One, yeah. Like a half. That's fine. Like that. Yeah, that's fine. Just measure it before you cut it. Yeah. Every time I We still don't have internet. We're going crazy with our Oh. Music. I've become a Grammy nominated singer. You've always been one of those. Oh. Should we get really cute plates and just have them live on this? Or should we just make it like the same? I mean, plates. And like four cute coffee mugs. I want to get a paper towel stand. Well, not a stand. The kind that goes under cabinet. I mean, we don't use paper towels very much. We try to use dish towels instead, but sometimes for certain things, we will use a paper towel. So it's just nice to have them around. And instead of having the kind that stands on the counter, I think it would be nice to have a little flip down. It takes up less counter space. Which we are all about. Found the tape measure. One. All right, for anyone else that's also moving or just redecorating, I feel like this is a good tip. Hot take, hot take. On notes on my phone, I just have like a master list of everything that we want to get for the house and then also like projects that we want to do, like changing things out or whatever. And I broke it down by the room, so like kitchen, living room, backyard, garage, blah, blah, blah. Blah, and blah, blah. Where is blah, blah? Stop it. Where is it? In blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Is that the backyard? No, the backyard is the backyard. Garage is the blah, blah, blah? No, the garage is the garage. And what's the blah, blah, blah? Uh, this. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every time I think of something that we need, I just add it to that list. And then every time we get something, I just take it off and I feel like it helps keep me sane and organized because redecorating or like moving into a house can be very overwhelming for how many things like pop into your head that you're like oh i need this or i want to do that and then you just forget them and this is helping so for the kitchen we're gonna put paper towel rack i guess you call it and then what was the other thing i just remembered flour sugar jars mm, that'll be nice cute plates oh, we should make some sport tea. new knives 20 inches. Spice organizer. Clayton has been cutting the paper. I unpacked the rest of the bar cart and just kind of put everything on there. I may end up rearranging it, but that's what it's doing for now. And then I unpacked like a lot of decor boxes. So just like books and candles, all those kinds of knickknacks. So it's coming together, but nothing is permanent. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So he cut out some like little pieces cause it was a little too small for the size of the drawer. So you can barely even tell like where the seam is. Good job. Looks good. Yes, it does. So now we're just gonna start packing these up with everything and organizing. The unpacking is continuing. We got the volleyball queen. This is Miss Volleyball Queen. What position did you play? Libero. Little what? 
The barrel. That's a position? Yeah. I do not know anything about volleyball. Libero. Libero. Okay. All right. So we have these drawers. We got some drawers over here. This is super nice, like built in drawers underneath our little reading nook. So we're about to fill these guys up right now. We're still in the midst of unpacking. But Delaney's got so many belts. I don't know how many pairs of pants she wears at once. But I have a lot of belts. What is that? 50 pairs at once you wear at least? <laughs> Yeah, she's got a lot of belts. Can somebody send help? I mean, come on. I don't even know. I can't make this nice right now. So, she can't make it nice, but... Not right now. We're gonna know, like, everything we're unpacking lately, we're just, like, doing it kind of half-ass. <laughs> yeah. We're like, okay, we're gonna, like, research how to organize these and make them really nice. Yeah. And get some specific cool holder or something in the yeah. future, but for this phase, we're just like trying just to eliminate boxes. Yeah, empty the boxes is the first step. So, my time will not be spent organizing. Man, what are you going to do with that thing? What I mean, thing? what in the world is it's that? It's like a little... Where, where are you going? I'm going. I'm going places. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Where, where, what? Wow. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Put them all in there. Hey, like, but we'll get rid of a box. Good job. Yeah, I will clean out these belts too. Yeah, we're gonna clean those. Figure out which ones I want. Uh, another date though, another date. Good work. Close that. Protect See you that later, one. Ben. And then get out of here. Next stuff. Oh yeah, the glasses. This is another. Excessive. Excessive, because this is only half of them, folks. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. The other half lives in the freaking nightstand. Okay, again, I'm not really going to organize these right now or go through them. You know, use maybe like books can go in there because we have a lot of books. Yeah. Okay, I think your swimsuits can go in here. Okay, they are right here. Much we like books. Yeah. Like books more. So we've done quite a bit of work in the closet so far. It's getting there. A lot of stuff has been put in place. We've unloaded like socks and underwear. This is my drawer, socks and underwear drawer. Is this for your... That's for smelly shoes. Smelly shoes right there. <laughs> then we, this is Delaney's sock drawer. It will get organized. We'll organize that. that. And then we have a underwear drawer. Again, needs to get organized. And we have a bra drawer. And we will organize that as well. And then, I don't know, maybe my pants will be able to go something like that right there. No, I think we should hang them. Oh, okay, if we have that entire rack Yeah, there. but you just have that whole box of pants as well, don't you? No, this is most of them. That's most oh, it of them. is? Yeah, it's What's shoes. That box? Oh, it's mostly shoes? Yeah. Okay. Like you have a ton of shoes too. Mm, yeah. I have no idea where any shoes are going to go. Yeah. So we got some figuring out to do. Shoes. Shoes are going to be an issue here in a second. Hello guys. I'm filming like three videos within this one video today. So there's just a lot going on. And I just got my hair done and I filmed a different video for that. So that's why my hair is like freshly blonde right here and also wet mostly everywhere except for my bangs. But that's beside the point. So today we are spray painting our dresser and it's currently, I'll show you guys what it currently looks like and stuff, but this is fun first little DIY project for the new house. We've never spray painted furniture. I don't think we've spray painted like little decor things. So it's kind of a fun adventure and I wanted to share the experience with you guys. And our friends Drew and Molly are coming over and we're going to social distance and they've been quarantining as have we. Like we don't go anywhere or see anyone. So that's that. We're going to sand this first. So this is the dresser color now, which is this sort of like creamy, buttery, yellow, off-white, buttered popcorn color. And that just kind of clashes with our really white walls and ceiling. So we're gonna paint it black because we have black accents in our oh, house. No, and it will be like some nice contrast. And then I think we might just keep 
these brass knobs or we might do something like the little crystal ones like the little clear ones or something even more intricate or I'm not really sure the dresser itself is a vintage find that we got at the Long Beach flea market is that what it's called flea market. Yeah, that's a flea, market. Yeah, a flea, market. flea market and it's a really beautiful piece it has nine drawers it's got this like unique sort of bendy shape very proper terminology and this really pretty carving on the feet and stuff so it's a good piece and we didn't want to let it go but it didn't match our house the way it was so this is our attempt to make it work molly and drew are here we have this tarp molly is like pretty well versed in this craft so she's kind of guiding us we're taking the drawers and we're going to do that first right yeah yeah shake it up sister is that close can we get dirty or not no i took my socks off yeah that's probably smart but no they won't okay wait are, are, there's a lot of drawers Drew's getting nervous Drew's getting nervous are you guys all are we all hitting it's it all in it have you ever done this before? Are you going to shake up the pants? No, it's okay. Yeah, you got to go first. Manny and I get work once because our hands are cute. I don't mind being dirty. Part of the job. Pretty close, that's enough. It's like almost a foot. That's good. Yeah. And go and just try to stroke it. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, you can get a little bit closer. You just never want a constant screen to be on one spot because then it'll get the droplets, you know? Okay. I'm always just doing it. We're about done with the first coat here. First coat is done. I think it looks really good. Thank you. We took out our rug <laughs> using this old rug. Sorry, rug. Rip rug. Looking good. It's looking real good. Here we go, doing the dresser now. Or no, this is the nightstand. Girl is hard at work. Wow, it's gonna look really good, I think. Get that leg, nice. Very good. We have everything done now. We ran out of paint, so I think we're gonna need to do one more coat tomorrow. But it all looks pretty, it looks good. I think it looks really good, guys. Yeah, agree. All right, we just had like a crazy day. It's Monday and we were gonna get a bunch of stuff done today and work, like finally get back to doing some work in the midst of all this crazy moving and stuff. But then the Terminator. exterminator came and knocked on the door. We forgot he was coming and it's very important because I am so afraid of spiders. So he was like, I need to spray in your house for, and you can't be in here for two hours. And I was like, you know what? Getting rid of the spiders is more important than work for me. So do your thing. We will go find something to do for two hours. So we wandered into a consignment store like a thrift shop and we brought one chair home to see what it would look like and if she if we should get them okay. so just my mask it's fine so this is the chair we don't have our kitchen table yet but we kind of had mapped out where we wanted it to be with that cord that's why it's like that this is a chair that we found it's got the cane back which is super pretty and very very well done and the woman at the store was telling us that it's kind of a dying art a dying art so people don't really do it anymore they're made in italy they've got this beautiful detailing everywhere and what we were going to do is actually reupholster the seat part to be like this texture so i think that would be fun if oh you're thinking if we got a rectangular yeah. it'll so be like, it looks really good like from over here kind of from the back like it looks really nice it's really nice doesn't it look good? I think we, because Restoration Hardware had a guide 
yeah. for table sizes is that it says 60 inches long mm -hmm. is good for four to six people mm -hmm. with two on each side and one at the end. Mm -hmm. And then a 72 inch table is good for six to eight mm -hmm. with three on each side. We don't so we don't need one that big. No. So we need to make sure the chairs fit with the It needs to be 60. 60. It should be something like that. And then will um, one more of these fit right yeah. here? Oh, yeah. So we just need to scoop back a bit right now, right? We're way too. It would be more like here, right? And then we'll scoot the table back. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think the chairs for sure work. Mm -hmm. And then we can, can you hold that stool for me? Do I think that would be so cute? And then do you really think we're sold on the light picture? I like it. I like that it's like... I'm, I haven't seen one like that. Okay, I like it. And it was like cool. Like can it, I see a picture of it? You have your phone. Yeah, it was very unique. Hey guys, we took a picture of the light picture, the chandelier that we liked. Is this one? It's kind of hard for you to see. Looks like that. Would that be cool? Right there with the chair and the fuzzy, fuzzy seat. I think so for sure. I think so. I think that would be cool. I think it'd be. I'm in. Yeah, I think it. I think it. Right now, it's still so far in awesome, but bringing this in, I already see the new vibe coming mm -hmm. through. You know what I mean? And we don't really have anything else that's like black. No, so, so like, that's, that's good. Nice. But this is like, there's a lot of black in the house. But that's like, yeah. And then, yeah, this is so dope. Okay. This is like 70s. This is 70s coolness. Cool. Guys. We ended up deciding to get the chairs. So, and we got the chandelier too, but we're not bringing it home right now because we're not ready to install it until we get the table. So Clayton's just bringing in the chairs right now. We still have one more to go get. Hey, Dick. Yeah. So the spray painted furniture has been drying in the garage for a few days. It was quite a messy experience. And now Clayton is bringing the nightstands upstairs because he can carry those. He's gonna need help carrying the other one, but the dresser, I mean. It's a mess in here, sorry about that. But they're a little bit patchy. From here you can't tell. Just bit. like a little patchy on the top. It was hard, so I'm just gonna put this tray right there. And obviously we're gonna style them and put stuff on them and whatnot, but it's just sort of an idea of how they turned out. And I think it looks really good. I like how they look for sure. We're thinking about getting a black bed. I don't know if we already told you guys that. But since the walls are really white here, the the color we had before just didn't really match, and the black is just a nice contrast, really so. Nice contrast. I think those gold knobs look good. I don't think we need to change yeah, them. Yeah, I don't think so either. We'll just style this all up. Like I said, it's a little patchy on the top specifically, but it's just kind of hard um, once you get into like a big, bigger surface area, but like the front and the details was super easy and fun to do spray painting. I am going to style the bookshelves, I mean the nightstands a little bit. And I'm just pulling some stuff from some random boxes, so I don't really have everything I want, but I just need to cover them a bit because, as I mentioned, the top is kind of like patchy, so putting some contents on them I think will help. Okay, so I have this big fashion book, and then just have these small, Vintage French books. I feel like this doesn't, the sizes aren't adding up. Yeah, I feel this just doesn't even, um, fit the sizes. I so don't know what this vase matches color wise. Alright, I'm going back with a few more things. I just have so many random little decor items. I, uh, I think I need a black book in each one of these two. This is really cool on here with um, like a plant hanging off. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna break up these books. This black one. I have some little matches. What do they look? Yeah. Ooh, it looks nice. We'll see. Maybe a plant in this guy. Mm hmm. Ooh, I like the black. 
You like the black? This is the fun part of unpacking. Styling. We need a plant in that guy. I think that would be cute-ish. I mean, we can always rearrange it. And then we're gonna put the dresser right here. Drew and Molly are gonna come over and help. Don't do this alone. Clayton just put my sunglasses in that drawer. And I styled the top of this. I think we'll put a plant in that planter. I think our friends are here. Hi! Hi. And then on this side, I just put a book with a glass tray or a mirror tray and a candle, a vase. I'll put some flowers in that vase and some jewelry. God, oh God, this is so freaky. That was the most insane. Daddy, come here. Come here. I am feeling nervous. Hi. Where did this go? Hi. <gasps> this is so sketchy. I don't want to watch this. You good? <gasps> Stop <laughs> gasping. You're making me nervous. Yeah. Hey, oh, I don't want to look at it. Do you? What happened? Oh, Nothing. It's totally fine. It's in. 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 It's a gloss or something for the top and rolled it on like top coat. Just a coat. little top coat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the sides don't do it because the sun's not like... Yeah. It's so much better black. I think this was like a... Yeah, everything looks Especially with a four post bed. Yeah. Like, that's baller. It would be cute, right? Yeah, it'll feel like a princess room. But like a gothic one. Yeah. Kind of gothic, huh? Yeah, like a romantic yeah, haunted sweet. mansion vibe. Yeah. You guys, uh -huh. is that sketchy? Oh, yeah. this wall isn't shit. Drew was like, this room isn't shit. Yeah, that's the ceiling. Drew that's barely nice. had the hole on the thing going around the corner like this. I was completely pinned yeah. against the wall. Very close. Like yeah. this. It, 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 it was fine. Huh? It was. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Good work getting it up, boys. It's in. It looks pretty good. We're gonna look into getting a top coat of some sort to sort of seal it and maybe like smooth out the patchy bits a little. Keep you guys posted on that really front, but yeah, we like it. Been with our dressers and nightstands for like a full day now and they're just a little bit patchy. We already told you guys that. You just keep looking at them no matter how the light hits. We're like, okay, it's just a little patchy. So we picked up the same brand. It was Rustoleum. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Rustoleum uh, spray paint that we use. We are using the paint by them now. So we're just going to paint this by hand a little bit on the patchy parts and hope that that kind of like seals it and evens it out. So I'm going to work on that now. Rustoleum. He's got covered in dust or the roller, I don't know. An experience, guys. So, it needs to dry and hopefully it'll be a little bit smoother. If this didn't work, I don't even know what we're gonna try next, but it's an adventure. Okay, Clayton is doing this nightstand with the brush and not the roller and it looks actually really good. But this is a little bit easier to do too because it's like a smaller surface. So I feel like with the brush strip, brush strokes it's just like easier to control don't fling paint at the bed don't paint the bed don't paint the bed. the bed black? wait i feel like that looks really good i think that looks so good okay if the night if the dresser doesn't work we'll just I said it with another coat. of that with just the brush that looks really good babe going to attempt to organize the bathroom a little bit Stop acting like that, literally. The overflow method doesn't work so well when you don't have drawers. Rose, four days. Gosh. Okay. Tanning products fit right there. Okay, here is a big box of face masks. I just 
just don't even know what I'm trying to do right now. Can I relate to that feeling? I got you a trash can. There's one over there too. Oh. <laughs> this is not going so well, by the way. What it's going to come down to is like, do we need 30 different lip treatments right here right now? Clayton. No. Do we need 500 different self scanners right here right now? No, we don't. Do we need 50,000 facial cleansers? Right here, right now, or this week? No. So we're gonna have to create a. All right. Story. Here's my response to that. You go on the internet and research the best ones, and. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build some little IKEA shelves in the closet. I'm gonna get this little basket. No, I'm saying the products. Figure out which ones are the best ones. The ones that we should keep out. Uh oh. No. no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Not falling, not falling for this trap. Why not? Doing great, doing great, hun. Hun. Oh, hun. What's that rock with a bucket hat, by the way? I love when you wear a bucket hat. I saw somebody wearing a bucket hat the other day, and I was like, yeah. Dude, I can't even get this off. Sweet, bro. So, ow, 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 ow. It's so heavy. Oh, <laughs> my little Paddington. The counter is like pretty much cleaned off. I just have like so much random little skincare stuff and I'm just not gonna go there right now. So it's a little messy over there still, but we fit a decent amount of everything in here and there's still some more room. So I think we're gonna be okay once we just figure out a more aesthetically pleasing way to go about this.